Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving word problems involving proportion. This topic is under grade in mathematics, but if you want to know and learn how to solve word problems invol involving proportion, though hindi ka pa grade 9, feel free to watch this video. So without further ado, let's do this topic. This is the first problem na pag-uusapan natin for today's video. The ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in the mathematics club is 4 is to 5. If there are 25 girls in the club, how many boys are in the club? Basically, before tayo mag-solve or before tayo mag-dive in sa pismong computation, punta natin first sentence. The ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls. So, kailangan muna makita niyo yung arrangement. Kasi um, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls is different from the ratio of the number of girls from the number of boys. So let's natin to. So we can express the ratio of boys and girls in this form. We have boys is to girls. Pwede rin naman yung fractional form na boys over girls. Bakit ko pinata sa inyo yung ganitong klaseng format? Because I will try to give you two different methods kung paano solve the problem na to. Let's start with this one first. Boys is to girls. Una, the mathematics club, it has the ratio of 4 is to 5 for the boys and girls. So we have 4 is to 5. Then equal to, sabi dito, if there are 25 girls, okay, 25 girls in the club, how many are boys? First natin dito is na quantity ay yung boys. At ayun ang hinahanap. So we will represent that as x. And then is to the number of girls which is 25. Okay? So what will happen here? Multiply the, the, the means, rather, 5 times x. That is 5x. Then also multiply the extremes which is equal to 4 times 25, and that is equal to 100. Next, divide both sides by 5. Cancel this out, cancel this out. Your x is equal to 100 divided by 5, which is equal to 20. Meaning, there are 20 boys in the math club. Okay? Using this pattern or this method, nakuha na agad natin which or how many boys are there in the math club. But, syempre, I told you earlier that we will try to use this pattern or this technique to solve the proportion. Dapat ang makukuha pa rin natin ay yung x is equal to 20 or 20 boys. So, ang ratio natin is boys over girls. So that is 4 is to 5 muna. You have 4 is to 5 in a fractional form. Is equal to um, how many boys? Itong 4 natin is x, di ba? I 4 is the ratio for boys. So ito ay magiging x over 25. So the value of x, we can do cross multiplication. Ito muna unahin natin, pwede naman to. 4 times 25. Then, 5 times x, that is 5x. As you can see, parehas lang. Tuloy natin to. This is 100. is equal to 5x. Divide both sides by 5. Cancel. Cancel. Your x is equal to 20. Parehas lang yun ang 20 is equal to x. Still, we have 20 boys in the math club. Okay. Now, let's move on with the next problem. Let's have problem number 2. For problem number 2, um, height problem naman ito. Let's read the problem. In a photograph, Jane is 9 centimeters tall and her brother John is um, 10 centimeters tall. Sa photograph yun. Ngayon, ito na yung second sentence. 
Jane's actual height is 150 centimeters, 53 centimeters. While John's actual height is what? What is John's actual height? So, unay natin. Yung name nila, ano to ah. Uh, it talks about the height. So, ang gawin natin yung ratio ay yung pangalan nila. So, Jane and John. So, we have Jane is to John. Ang subject natin dito ay yung kanilang height. Meaning, a fractional form susundan natin. We have here Jane over John. For this pattern, Jane's to John, the first ratio na mabubuo natin is 9 centimeters or 9 is to 10. Ito yung ratio na kalilang height sa picture or photograph. That is equal to, ang tanong dito, what is John's actual height? So, nawawala yung kay John, meaning, Jane's actual height is 153. So, this is 153 is 2, yung kay John, which is x. Okay, let's multiply this one. Multiply the means, that is 10 times 153, is equal to multiply your extremes, 9 times x, that is 9x. Next, 10 times 153, that is 1530, is equal to 9x. Now, to solve for x, divide both sides by 9. Divide both sides by 9. And, cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to how many? 170 centimeters. Ito ngayon, yung height ni John sa mismo photograph. As you can see, the ratio is 9 is to 10, meaning... We need to expect dapat na mas mataas or larger yung number compared sa 153. This is John's height. This is John's actual height. Now, let's use this pattern. Jane over John. So, that is 9 over 10 is equal to 153 over x. Bakit na una si 153? Bakit nyo may sa 153? Because... So, Jane ang nasa numerator. Cross multiply. 9 times x is 9x. Then, 100, uh, 10 times 153. That is 1,530. Same process. Divided by 9. Divided by 9. Cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 170 centimeters. And as you can see, though we are using different methods we can still get the correct answer. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. And guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!